Hi, good morning, oh, good morning. Welcome back. This is Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here, as usual, we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If you're coming for the first time, welcome. We are happy to have you here. If you feel moved as the Holy Spirit speaks to you, go ahead, please subscribe and join our support team. If you're coming back as a returner, we want to tell you extra, extra special welcome. You are a part of this thrust and um, of course, we expect you to receive a blessing for every step of effort that you take based on the principle of our God. We want to also remind you that this video is committed to our habits of well building our habits of spending one hour with God every single day. So this is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide. What you do here is that you follow this video and then at the end of it, you continue with um, God for one hour, you and God alone. You, of course, would have chosen your best sacrificial time for that day or whatever time for the week that you're going to use and you turn up for those times, you and God alone. Again, thank you so much for being here. We're doing now for this season of the Kickstart Devotional, The Great Controversy. We are using the 1888 version of The Great Controversy along with the King James um, Version of the Bible. We are in chapter 12 of the Great Controversy, and so we are going to continue into it this morning. So please go ahead and watch the video before this one so you can catch up as to where we were starting out this week and the video before that one to catch up further as well. And then you join us here for this most present video um, as we go through the prophetic book of the Great Controversy, which helps to help us to see um, the unwinding of the Man of Perdition as well as the entire battle of the great controversy starting as far back as the dark ages so join us stay with us and be a part of our team we're going to begin now with prayer father we thank you for taking us here together we thank you for the opportunity to worship at your feet father we pray that everything that we do will glorify your name if in any way and form and shape as we turn it before you right now father and you examine us you find with us iniquity sin and all the stains of the same we pray that you'll remove them from us father please forgive us of all our iniquities we beg and pray father for the outpouring of your early rain upon us because it is time for it father and we know the latter rain outpouring cannot be far away based on the the state of of earth and the signs of the way marks father we pray that you will just help us above all things to be ready to meet you when you come and to help others to be ready to do the same give us our daily bread now as we sit at your feet and bless us we beg in Jesus' precious name amen all right so we also commit memory text and hymn to memory each week so this week's memory text is coming to us from psalms 50 verses 14 to 15 and it says offer unto god thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me again psalm 50 verse 14 and 15 offer unto god thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me all right we hope that god helps us to be able to recall this in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls even our very own we're going to go now into our great controversy picking up in chapter 12 at page 200 let me tell you what page we're picking up from page 230.1 so it will be at the end of a paragraph that you'll find that numbering. All right. So let us go into it right now. The gospel of peace, which Franz had rejected, was to be only too surely rooted out. And terrible would be the results. On the 21st of January, 1793, 258 years from the very day that fully committed Franz to the persecution of the reformers another procession with a far different purpose passed through the streets of paris quote again the king was the chief figure again there was tumult and shouting again there was heard the cry for more victims again there was black scuffles and again the scenes of the day were closed by horrid executions 
Louis, Louis um, the 16th struggling hand to hand with his jailers and executioners was dragged forward to the block and there and there held down by main force till the axe had fallen and his deserved head and his sorry his dissevered head fell on the scaffold end of quote nor was the king the only victim near the same spot two thousand and eight hundred human beings perished by the guillotine during the bloody days of the reign of terror now this was all in france because they had refused and rejected the gospel and now the papacy was going out with malice against against with with horrifying malice against those who had stood up for the reformation to the point of um forcing betrayal among them and also murdering all those that were exposed what a thing when a church takes upon itself the execution of of supposed judgment and justice upon god's um creation god's people humanity in that we continue to read the reformation had, has present had presented to the world an open bible unsealing the precepts of the law of god and urging its claims upon the consciences of the people infinite love had unfolded to men the statutes and principles of heaven god had said quote keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people this of course supported as said in deuteronomy 4 verse 6 that's where that um reading is coming from all right we continue to read when france rejected the gift of heaven she saw the seeds of anarchy and ruin the, inev the inevitable outworking of cause and effect resulted in revolution and the reign of terror long before the persecution excited by the placards the bold and ardent favel had been forced to flee from the land of his birth he repaired to switzerland and by his labors Seconding the work of Zwingle, he helped to turn the scale in favor of the Reformation. His later years were to be spent here, yet he continued to exert a decided influence upon the reform in France. During, his, during the first years of his exile, his efforts were especially directed to spreading the gospel in his native country he spent considerable time in preaching among his countrymen near the frontier where with tireless vigilance he watched the conflict and aided by the words of encouragement and aided by his words of encouragement and counsel with the assistance of other exiles the writings of the german reformers were translated into the french language and together with the French Bible were printed in large quantities. Many colporters, the these sorry, by colporters, these works were sold extensively in France. They were furnished to the colporters at a low price, and thus the profits of the work enabled them to continue it. Favel entered upon his work in Switzerland in the humble guise of schoolmaster. Repairing to a secluded parish, he devoted himself to the instruction of children. Besides the usual branches of learning, he cautiously introduced the truths of the Bible, hoping through the children to reach their parents. There were some who believed, but the priests came forward to stop the work, and the superstitious country people were roused to oppose it. Quote, that cannot be the gospel of Christ, urged the priest. That cannot be the gospel of Christ, 
urged the priest, seeing the preaching of it does not bring peace but war. End of quote. Like the first disciples when persecuted in one city, he fled to another. From village to village, from city to city, he went, traveling on foot, enduring hunger, cold, and weariness, and everywhere in peril of his life. He preached in the marketplaces, in the churches, sometimes in the pulpits of the cathedrals. Sometimes he found the church empty of hearers. At times, at times his preaching was interrupted by shouts and jeers. Again, he was pulled violently out of the pulpit. More than once he was set upon by the rabble and beaten almost to death. Yet he pressed forward, though often repulsed with unwearying persistent persistence, he returned to the attack, and one after another, he saw towns and cities which had been strongholds of popery opening their gates to the gospel. The little parish where he had first labored soon accepted the reformed faith. The cities of the cities of Moet and Nucatel also renounced the Romish rites and removed the idolatrous images from their churches. So we thank God that our man's servant did make headway as he advanced against the perils of the papacy, treated in a similar light as Paul would have experienced beating, scourgings, um, um, being truly betrayed and, and humiliated, even like Christ, but yet he pressed on and there was fruit to his labor. We pray that in our own time, when our dark ages come, we'll also be able, in Jesus' name, to press on. All right, we're going to go back to our meditation on him for this chapter, Higher Ground, number 600. And 25. We're going to do stanza two. My heart is no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay. Though some may dwell where these abound, my prayer, my aim is higher ground. Lord, lift me up, and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. All right. We thank God for the message. We thank God for the messenger. And now we continue to expectantly wait upon our Lord and hope that we'll be faithful in our times of persecution. Let us pray. Holy and righteous Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be hearers of such motivating history. We thank you for these sacrificial lives that these reformers lived we pray father that we too will prepare ourselves to live in sacrifice for you to love souls so much that we will even give our life to share the life-giving gospel with them father many of us myself included are in spiritual lethargy we do very little concerning the propagation of your gospel expecting that some other will do it and we will follow behind them but god let us all be reminded that none of us will enter heaven without service because there'll be no starless crowns and the stars in the crowns represent our service father have mercy upon us forgive us we have been slack in sharing the truth and light with others and even following after it so that our life in its and of itself can be a gospel message help us to be better more dedicated and more loyal um gospel mongers and committed followers of you in jesus precious name i pray with thanksgiving amen
All right, so let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptably in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thanks again so much for stopping by here. Do continue to follow the blueprints, the holy, um, undiluted truth, and whereby you'll be able to also walk with God and walk good. This, of course, is the holy scriptures. Preferably, we study from the King James Version. Walk good. God bless you. And do continue now, you and God alone, for one hour. See you in our next video.